All right, how we doing today? I hope y'all having a good day today. I got about 6.45 in the p.m. 12 May, so I'm in a pretty good area. Right behind me is the T-Mobile. I got the park here, the MGM. I'm right around this area where these streets intersect. Uh, this is Park Avenue, and this is the New York, New York, where they got that roller coaster. Man, that thing is treacherous. Uh, and the T-Mobile Arena. Hope you guys are having a good day today. And if you're staying here or uh, right now at the time this video is being made, hope you guys have fun. And if you're coming here this weekend, you guys have, have yourself a good time and be safe. All right. So the T-Mobile is where right now you have a series of events. You have mainly the NHL hockey team and also you have college basketball like the uh, like the Pac-10 tournament they may have the uh, WAC tournament here or at the, the old arena the T-Mobile okay and sometimes they may have some face-offs like Duke and UCLA they did play uh, Duke, uh, Duke and UCLA they had a Roman tournament back in November and Duke actually won that game by like two points something like that uh, Gonzaga as well too so but we get another we're gonna have another host at the t Wall mobile arena and that's going to be an nba team which will arrive here in 2023 okay for the 23 24 season okay for las vegas it's going to be called the las vegas Blackjacks, okay, tentatively. I'm saying this information tentatively, okay. Um, now, it looks like the plan for what I saw on the internet, they're gonna play that first season right here at the T Mobile Arena. Then the following season, 24 25, will be at the All Net Arena. And I did a video about that maybe five months ago, six months ago down Midtown, okay? And I'm gonna probably do a more specific video about that later, okay? About that arena, cause I'm gonna probably provide some images of what it's gonna look like. 18,000 seats. It looks like it's really gonna be really, really nice, okay? So that's, that is gonna happen. Furthermore, Seattle, the Supersonics will return back to Seattle that same year, 2023. 2024 okay we should have never left seattle in the first place i i, I just thought this because they couldn't build they did not build an arena now they're going to play in that same arena where the hockey team i think they call it the las vegas kraken i'm sorry the seattle kraken uh they're going to play in that uh, uh same arena all right so uh some other notes Next year, at the end of 2022 season, okay, around the time of the draft, I guess there's gonna be a conference and there's gonna be a conference realignment, okay, a division realignment. And I'll do a vi video on that sometime in the future. But Memphis, the Grizzlies, and the New Orleans Pelicans, they will move to the east. New Orleans will relocate to Kansas City, all right? And they have a nice arena. I think it's fairly new. Uh, they call it, actually, that's the T-Mobile Center. Okay? And it looks like it's a very nice facility. It fits like 19, 20,000 people. So that's going to happen. I guess because the leases is up is in New Orleans at the end of the 2023 season. So I guess they're going to make some changes. Changes are good. You know what else needs to get a team? Virginia Beach. All right? But what happens there is, me being from Virginia, and that does have, they do have a large enough fan base in Norfolk, about two million people in that area. The state don't want to raise taxes to build uh, that type of free enterprise. That's the reason why they didn't get the stadium for at the time, the Redskins at the time. They wanted to do that in the north of Virginia, but they built that up in East Landover, Maryland. But I, that, I digress, okay? I'm just telling you what will happen. They will have a new team. Las Vegas, that it is. The season after next season, okay? For you basketball fanatics, you're still going to be there. So I'm looking forward to uh, 
going to a game uh, the, in the fall of next year. But let me you know what you think about the video. I thank you for your time. Again, have a good, safe weekend. Stay tuned for more videos. I need to do that video on the Palms Grand reopening, and I will do that probably within the next day or two. Again, until next time.